Welcome back, everybody. This time around, we're going to be exploring Polkadot and its token, DOT. We'll be sharing some of the history, price information, and news with you. And if you've been sleeping on Polkadot, it's time to wake up. And not just because of the epic price gains that the token has experienced, but for all of the unique and astounding features that the Polkadot blockchain has to offer. Before we begin, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons below so that you don't miss any of our future content. From its partnerships with staking pool company Moonstake and the Singapore-based RockX, to its historic links with Ethereum, Polkadot has evolved to become one of the biggest conversations in the world of blockchain right now. It's an open source multi-chain that allows for the transfer of tokens and data across different blockchains, with its interoperability setting it apart from its rivals. It's also the brainchild of Ethereum co-founder and core developer, Gavin Wood who wrote the Polkadot white paper in 2016 as he set out to fully decentralize the World Wide Web. Wood felt that Ethereum would be unable to deliver on this promise over time. So his goal was to create a sharded version of the blockchain that was as simple and scalable as possible. Polkadot's ambitious vision to create the next generation of internet connectivity is supported by research-driven and nonprofit Web3 Foundation and has gained considerable momentum having enjoyed a significant breakout since the beginning of the year. In fact, the Polkadot blockchain was largely unknown to investors before September 2020, when its total market cap was $5 billion. This has since increased to more than $27 billion, making Polkadot the sixth most valuable crypto asset in the market when you measure it by market cap. So, how does Polkadot work? Polkadot, you might think of it as like a token or a blockchain, but actually what's very important is that Polkadot as an ecosystem has a really good, at least one, really good um, framework for building new blockchains. The Polkadot blockchain's interoperability has underpinned its growth by allowing transactions to be processed across multiple chains at the same time. This makes for a truly scalable network that solves one of the single biggest issues with the first and second generation blockchains. Another key selling point of Polkadot is the ability for users to build their own blockchains using the Substrate protocol. These chains can connect to the network in real time and interact with each other, creating a breeding ground for truly decentralized apps that are free from the governance of dominant blockchains. Recently, it was announced that NFTs could soon be coming to Polkadot as well, after its canary network, Kunsama, began to deploy Ethereum alternatives. This will make the blockchain more appealing for developers working with games, art, and music apps, creating a valuable, secure, and ultimately more scalable alternative to Ethereum. What types of decentralized apps are already based on Polkadot? Well, Local Coin Swap is one that is probably the most familiar to Bitcoin and local Bitcoin enthusiasts, with this peer-to-peer -peer marketplace serving as a global crypto exchange. It works by decentralizing buying and selling of cryptocurrencies around the globe, while supporting more than 250 acceptable payment methods. MantraDAO is another high-profile dApp, and one that's focused mainly on lending, staking, and governance. Built on the Rio chain for Polkadot, it provides a collection of decentralized finance solutions to a wider community of users, while operating a reputation mechanism to reward people for their positive contributions. As we can see, Polkadot is a fast-growing player in the decentralized finance space, with DeFi exchanges and automated market makers flocking to the network. So let's get into some of the news and future updates. Curve Finance's Automated Market Maker, or AMM for short, was the latest to build a cross-train implementation of its product on Polkadot, which they did in February 2021. They still retained their base on the Ethereum network, but expanded into Polkadot as well. And this is big business for Polkadot, because Curve Finance was able to process $400 million in volume during just one day last month. There are similar projects in the pipeline as well, including the coveted Akala network. Branded by some as Polkadot's decentralized finance hub, the project is in a prime position to claim one of the 100 parachain slots available on the network's relay chain. Although Akala's governance token isn't expected to launch until the project has secured a parachain, DOT holders can loan their tokens to the initiative and gain token rewards in the future. This is also one of the few Polkadot projects that Gavin Wood follows on Twitter, which we reckon is a pretty good sign of its potential. So let's get into a little bit about DOT's price. Polkadot's ambitious Web 3.0 vision and aggressive move into the DeFi space 
have already seen its asset price rise as much as 250% since the beginning of the year. Some experts are even suggesting that DOT could hit $50 per token by the end of 2021. Polkadot vs Ethereum 2.0 The landscape for Polkadot right now is a little bit clouded by the development of Ethereum 2.0, which launched its Phase 0 in December 2020. ETH 2.0 is built on a similar premise to Polkadot, as it uses sharding to increase scalability and reduce latency across the network. While Ethereum 1.0 can process about 10 to 15 transactions per second, VisaNet, or Visa's network, processes 1,700 each second. So it's hoped that sharding will help resolve the slowness that is associated with Ethereum's proof-of-work mechanism. Polkadot still retains the advantage of interlobability, and it's thought that the blockchain could ultimately scale to allow more than 1 million transactions per second. This wouldn't necessarily increase transaction fees either, so there's no doubt that the potential of this network is huge. Ultimately, Polkadot keeps a clear competitive edge over many of its second-generation blockchain rivals. And not only this, but it's also home to some potentially game-changing projects outside of decentralized finance, many of which will continue to increase the use cases for blockchain and propel this tech further into the mainstream. No matter what happens in the future, Polkadot has already proven itself to be an innovative and game-changing blockchain. Along with Cardano, it may also provide the highest growth levels between now and 2025. So it's definitely worth keeping your eyes on as an investor. That's not financial advice though. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below to see more content like this. And if you have any questions about Polkadot or the information in this video, drop us a comment.